Hey everybody, welcome to a Cricut Craft Tutorial. Before we get started, if you are somebody who likes Cricut or crafts, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also hit that bell icon because that lets you know when I post a new video and I post new videos all the time. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we are going to show you guys how to make a reusable stencil. This is super fun and super easy. All you need is your Cricut and some stencil film which you can get at most craft stores. I'm going to go ahead and use an image that I found off of Google. So all I'm going to do is click upload and then upload image. I'm going to browse for my image, which is in my Cricut folder. I used a cupcake because I just think it was fun. So here is my cupcake. I'm going to select simple because I do need to clean this up and we're going to go ahead and click continue. All you have to do is click on the background where it's gray to get rid of all of the gray pieces and then you're left with this black. Now I'm just going to click preview here really quick to show you that we did remove all of the background. So you go ahead and click continue and you want to save this as a cut file which is here over on the right hand side. Click save and it's going to take you back into your uploaded image. We're going to go ahead and insert our image and there's our cupcake. We're going to make it bigger than this and I'm going to use it on a wood sign for now but this could be reused so I'm going to go ahead and make it about a five inch at the tallest maybe about five a little over five inches so voila we have our cupcake this part's really simple and really easy to do so all we're going to do now is go ahead and click make it and you can do these with any image that you like i want to show you guys what happens when you hit continue you're going to need to make sure that your machine is set to custom and i'm going to turn my custom on and you're gonna browse all materials. And for this one, I don't remember 100% which one it's under, so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down a bit, and I believe it was under plastic. It is, it's under plastic and it's under stencil film. Now I know that I'm gonna make a bunch of different stencils, so I'm gonna add this one to my favorites, and you can do that by just clicking on this little star, and that'll add your stencil film to your favorites. So we're gonna go ahead and select that, and just click done. And it's going to tell you what tools are required to make this. So you don't need anything in your clamp A, which is typically used for your pen. And you can cut this with your fine point blade in your clamp B. So I'm going to go ahead and load my mat, and I'll show you guys how to do that part. And then we can cut this out. So unlike when we make vinyl decals, and we try to save a lot of our vinyl by making our cut really small, with a stencil film, which I'm, you want to make it a little bit bigger than what you're actually cutting out because you want that little bit of edge so that when you go to paint your stencil onto your project, it doesn't stick. and Or I'm sorry, it doesn't get paint everywhere. So mine is about six and a half wide and almost seven long. So I did cut it a little bit bigger than what we're going to use. So all we're going to do is just click the load button. We're going to load it. I am using my blue mat. It is pretty sticky still. So you want to make sure you're using a decently sticky mat for this. And what it's going to do now is it's going to go ahead and cut out our cupcake. This cuts really, really nicely, this stencil film. Um, it's about, uh, I want to say 0.4 millimeters thick, but I could be really wrong. Um, I got this at our local craft store for a little under $5, and it's a pretty big sheet. And you'll see how nice and smoothly this cuts. You can do all sorts of stencils with this. I just chose something kind of simple right now just to show you guys how you can do this. And these are reusable, which is really, really nice. Now, unlike with vinyl, we're not going to keep the center of our piece. We're actually going to keep the outside. So let's go ahead and pull this off. I'm going to reposition you guys to show you, and you guys can see me pulling it off of here. So we're going to go ahead and pull our stencil off. And remember, we're keeping the outside. So we want to be very, very careful when we peel this off because we don't want to rip it and we also don't want it to curl too much. And it's going to have some thin pieces. So you're going to just be careful as you pull to just gently pull it off of your mat. And that's why I say don't use anything too, too sticky and don't use anything that is really, really detailed for your first attempt at this. That's why I tried this one because I wanted to show you guys how easy this is. Woo. And we have one guppy cake. 
This is going to be reusable, which is really, really nice. And you have a little bit of extra around the edges so that you don't get your paint everywhere. We're totally going to make a craft with this really soon. So look forward to using the reusable stencil in a craft. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave those down below because I'm always happy to answer them for you. And if you're looking for any tutorials, make sure to leave that in the comments below too. Have a great day.